east of in the northwest right now, Julie, and they're still burning some air quality issues up there. Our air quality is pretty good. The heat in the central part of the country is miserable this whole summer, basically at least the last month, this area, the, the purple bullseye over Oklahoma and Dallas. Millions of people from Oklahoma City to Dallas over to Atlanta are under heat advisories or extreme heat warnings for the next couple of days. Look what happens. That was tomorrow. This is on Friday, 108 in Dallas, and then this is on Saturday. So if you think it's hot here, boy, I'll tell you what, that's, it's just been nonstop for those folks out there. And you add a little humidity to that. You can imagine what 100 degrees feels like with 78% humidity. There are the... Uh, Temperatures from today, our highs were hot. We did get up there, 101 in Fairfield. That was the hot spot. Didn't see any records out there, but definitely very, very warm. Warmer by 5 or 8 degrees than yesterday. Now, temperatures tomorrow go the other way. They're going to cool off by 5 or 8 degrees. And so the heat, the peak of the heat was today. And then tomorrow, we end up with temperatures a good, like I say, 5, 8 degrees cooler. And then we kind of ride that for a while. The hot spots will be generally in the upper 80s, low 90s, right into the weekend. Look at these temperatures, 73 in San Francisco, 74 in Fairfield, 70, 82 in Brentwood, 75 at SFO. It's a beautiful night out. Temperatures warmer than last night by 11 degrees in Novato. The fog is not very close. It's down around Big Sur, so it's got a ways to go. You can see the Salesforce Tower lit up. Clearly a beautiful night out there with no fog in San Francisco. This low is going to drop in and set us up for a milder week ahead or a milder weekend. It's all, there's already a trough here, but this low is going to drop into it further, and we're going to end up with a pretty, I would say, almost spot-on average temperatures for this time of year this weekend. So it's not going to be too hot. It's not going to be below average. It's going to be right there, uh, starting most likely by Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. So as you look at the models for tomorrow, morning, the fog comes back to the coast. That's what it says, but it doesn't go any further. And then tomorrow night, you see a little push of fog. So there's some cooling. And then look at the further cooling on Friday morning. That's a big push. So that's when the temperatures start to take a decline. And then on Friday, it's foggy up and down the coast. The forecast for tomorrow, fog back at the coast in the morning, not inland though, so it'll still be pretty warm well inland, but you notice the yellows and the oranges are further east. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow. Yeah, a little cooler anyway. These are the forecast highs for tomorrow, and then the temperatures will be trending down from there. There's the five-day forecast, and you can see upper, upper 80s, low 90s. I'll see you back here at 11. All right, we'll see you then, Bill. Thank you.